Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripolar here, T-R-I-P-O-L-A-R, and welcome back to a brand new series, which I'm going to be starting on my channel, called 10 Facts About, and it is exactly that. It is basically 10 facts about things from the Mario universe, or the Nintendo universe, that you may have not known about, and to kick off this series today, we'll be doing the top 10 facts you didn't know about the Super Mario series in total, the entire game sets of mario we're going to be doing the top 10 facts about all different characters and as we go we will be doing different characters from individual characters to maybe individual video games to things like that if you do like this new series idea make sure you go down below and smack that like button if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe tell me what is the most interesting fact you found in the comment section below and enjoy the video see you guys number one did you know that mario wasn't always called mario in fact, he was originally called Jumpman back in the game Donkey Kong, which was one of the first Mario games to ever be released. Back then, he was called Jumpman and not Mario. Then, eventually, the Switch was made to call him Mario because it was more imaginative and gave this character a better sense of personality. Number 2. Did you know that despite what Super Mario Bros. 3 says, the only offspring that Bowser has is Bowser Jr. Super Mario Bros. 3 says that all the Koopalings are Bowser's kids, but Miyamoto has confirmed this is actually not true, and that Bowser Jr. is the actual only offspring of Bowser. This does not mean, however, that the Koopalings cannot be adopted or in other way Bowser's kids, aka like adoption or something like that, but it does mean that his only direct offspring is Bowser Jr., meaning his only true son is Bowser Jr. Now, when commented who Bowser Jr.'s mother was, Miyamoto actually said that he was Bowser Jr.'s mother. Very strange, very confusing, but we do have confirmation that Bowser Jr. is the only offspring of Bowser. Number three, did you know that the only game where Mario is actually a villain is Donkey Kong Jr.? It was a game released after this wildly popular Donkey Kong, where Mario is portrayed as a wh villain, where he's whipping Donkey Kong as the as Donkey Kong Jr. tries to save his dad from Mario's circus. This is the only game where Mario is actually depicted as the villain, as he's seen whipping the monkey and trying to stop uh, Donkey Kong Jr. from actually getting to the top. Now, it was a c total reverse of the first game, where Mario was trying to save the princess, aka Jumpman at the time, as we reviewed earlier, number one, but it is completely uh, different from that game, as Mario is actually the villain um, trying to keep Donkey Kong all locked up while Donkey Kong Jr. tries to come to his father's rescue. Wow, Mario. Crazy how t things have changed since then. Number five. Did you know that chain chomps are actually modeled after a traumatic childhood event that happened to Miyamoto? These infinite black balled characters attached to a chain are actually a traumatic event that happened to Miyamoto when he was younger, where a neighbor's dog would try to come after him, but luckily he was chained to a fence which would make him yank back and not be able to get Miyamoto. Pretty crazy how a really weird childhood experience led to a, such an infamous character that many people love. Number 6. Back in the days of Mario NES, Miyamoto really wanted Mario to actually ride around on a dinosaur, but due to certain limitations and the technology that was around at the time, this could not be possible. However, Miyamoto never gave up on his dream, as in later dates, Yoshi was actually introduced. This was the beginning of such an iconic and loved character in the Mario series, so we have Miyamoto to thank for such an amazing character, who is loved all around the world today. Without that little dream kept alive, Yoshi may have never happened, and definitely the Mario series would not be the one we know today. Number 7. Do you know that back in the original uh, original Super Mario Bros, it was actually possible to jump over the flag at the end of the level? Unfortunately, the game wasn't really meant to do this, so if you kept running, you would just run off the screen forever, or till time ran out and you just died. So there was really no hidden bonuses or cheats to really do it. Um, so there was really no point of actually doing it, but if you tried really hard enough, you could actually jump over the entire flagpole. But uh, you weren't really supposed to, so there really was nothing else to do. But it is still a cool fact. Number 8. Did you know that the loved character today, Waluigi, was only originally created so Wario could have a partner in the original Super Mario Tennis? Of course, this character grew into a character that is really loved today by many fans for quite odd reasons. Waluigi is loved because he is probably the most real character you could get. He's clumsy and awkward and... Sort of just like everyone else in society who doesn't fit in, which is why he's probably one of the most 
popular characters amongst fans, but this character almost didn't exist at all if that game never existed. It's funny how a character that was only meant to be a side partner for a character turned out to be one of the most popular among Mario fans today. Thanks for Super Mario Tennis, and thank you for Waluigi. Number 9. Do you know that Goombas, although being the first enemy you encounter in the Super Mario games, was actually one of the last things to be added at the end of it? It's funny how uh, one of the last things to be added to a game actually turned out to be one of the first things that you encounter, and probably one of the most iconic villains from the Mario series. Also, if you don't know, Goomba actually means chestnut people in uh, Japanese. So, if you ever know why they look like that and why they're called Goombas, and now you know, it is for their chestnut shape. Finally, at number 10, did you know that there's over 150 different Mario games ranging from all different titles from Mario Kart, Mario Party, the original series, and other spin off series such as Mario Galaxy, Paper Mario, Donkey Kong, and other games like that? 150 games? Wow, Mario, that is one successful franchise. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did find out something new, make sure you tell me in the comment section below and also make sure to leave what your favorite fact was. Let me know what character or game you want me to do next in the comments down below as well don't forget to leave a like and we will see you guys in the next one see you guys